London Bridge victim's father condemns beyond disgusting Boris Johnson for using son's death for political gain don't use my son's death to promote your vile propaganda. Jack stood against everything you stand for. Here's a summary of the article. The father of a man killed in the London Bridge terror attack has shared posts calling Boris Johnson's response to the murders beyond disgusting. David Merritt, whose son Jack was one of two people killed by convicted terrorist Usman Khan on Friday, condemned the Prime Minister and Priti Patel, the Home Secretary, for using the attack as justification for a series of tougher criminal policies. Mr. Merritt suggested the Tories were using his son's death to promote vile propaganda and shared a tweet accusing Mr. Johnson of trying to make political gain from people's death in a terror incident. That prompted Mr. Merritt to share a tweet by left wing journalist and academic Ash Sarkar, which said, It's beyond disgusting that Boris Johnson, Priti Patel, and newspapers like the Daily Mail are using Jack Merritt's death and image to promote an agenda he fought against all his life. He was a passionate believer in rehabilitation and transformative justice, not draconian sentencing. He then retweeted a second post by Ms. Sarkar which said, Jack Merritt's family and loved ones have asked that right-wing newspapers and political parties not use his murder to advance reactionary demands. If you see it happening, call it out. They deserve so much better. He shared a tweet by broadcaster Kay Burley that said Labour and Tory leaders are using London Bridge attack as a campaigning tool, shame on them and another from a Twitter user that claimed the BBC, which had granted the Prime Minister a lengthy interview on Sunday, was facilitating Johnson to make political gain from people's death in a terror incident. Within hours of the attack, in which Khan also killed 23-year-old Saskia Jones, Mr. Merritt posted on Twitter to say that his son would not wish his death to be used as the pretext for more draconian sentences or for detaining people unnecessarily. This post received a score of 52,056, with an upvote ratio of 85%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Well what is the point of having tragedies just before an election if the political elite can't use them to get us fighting each other while they sit back and laugh at the fact that it is how it's always been? Greater than what is the point of having tragedies just before an election? It really seems like BJ is is trying to poison the Conservative Party in advance of the election. A new Labour government would solve all the Tories' Brexit problems. I'd love that to be true, but I don't buy it. There's no way the Tories would give up power. Only one way to find out, motherfuckers. Hashtag F-I-G-H-T. God I haven't thought about Harry Hill's TV burp in years. Do you ever feel like we're living in the prequel to V for Vendetta? Endless prequel it seems. That's because real life doesn't feature time skips. It'd be so much more convenient if it did. I'm remaining neutral, but a terrorist plots to blow up an important building and only got six years for it. Shouldn't that be longer? Ignoring the fact they then promptly stab five people. Long story short, indeterminate sentences were introduced by the Labour government in the noughties. So in the early tens the then Tory-led government repealed the IPP laws and a lot of people had their sentences reconsidered. Khan slipped between the cracks, he was re-sentenced on appeal to the only available disposal, a determinate sentence. All determinate sentences make a person eligible for automatic release on license at the halfway stage. Thank you, that makes it much clearer. You're welcome car boob sale. Jack wrote an interesting paper before this event happened. It was his thesis. Joe Cox's death has been used in an argument for getting Brexit done, so I'm sure he Tories don't see a problem with this instance. The bridge incident should be used as an argument for equipping all UK citizens with narwhal tusks. As cool as those tusks are I don't wanna see the species go extinct. Genetically engineer cows to grow narwhal tusks. Solved. Next problem. If we use horses instead of cows, we get tusks and unicorns. Boris Johnson is a wanker. I think everyone knows that now. But using the death of a person to gain political points. Well, he transcends being wanker into a whole new unimaginably ghastly fake human. It's well known that Johnson intentionally tousles his hair into that dumb and dumber look before he goes on camera. And he did it before his interview right after the stabbing. Imagine taking the time to make sure you look like an escaped mental patient before talking about this incident. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech.
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.